as promised, episode two. My name is Mary Beth Winchell, and I want to share with you what Jesus says to us about the Holy Spirit, and he wants us to ask. Okay, so God has given us the Holy Spirit, but it's ours for the asking, and he doesn't want to give it to anyone who doesn't want. You know, you have to want the Holy Spirit because that that power that comes in uh, is for only those <laughs> who want to live the life of the Spirit. And so Jesus says that we must ask, and I want to read to you what Jesus says in Luke 11, verses 9 through 13, and he says, And I tell you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be open to you, for everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks the door will be opened. So Jesus says, if you ask, you will receive. So the Holy Spirit is for you and me and everyone who asks, everyone who wants the Holy Spirit. So I believe we're only seeing the tip of the iceberg in the spirit world in the spirit realm you know we live 24 7 in the natural realm but there's a spiritual realm that is way more real than even the natural realm and God we only see the tip of the iceberg in the water but under the water is the iceberg (laughs) and God wants us in the spiritual realm he wants us to see the iceberg And we need the Holy Spirit in order to see into the spirit realm. And so here's the father who says, I've given you the Holy Spirit. I just want you to ask. And he's literally, literally waiting for us to ask. He's listening. Is anyone asking? And we, we don't even know there is a Holy Spirit, let alone that we're allowed to ask for him. And one thing I want to tell you before I sign off is the Holy Spirit is a gentleman He's not to be feared. He's not to be, there's nothing to be afraid of. Entering the spiritual realm is awesome. You know, remember the, the, the disciples in the early church, this Philip and James and Peter and John and, and Stephen, they were experiencing the Holy Spirit in a mighty way. They were raising the dead and healing the sick. At one point, uh, Philip was moved from one city to another or one region to another. All of a sudden, he appeared to the eunuch who was driving along. And when the Holy Spirit was done with him, he snatched him back and brought him back to the city. So there's way more for us. Don't settle for what you have in the spirit realm right now. Don't settle. Don't think that this is all there is. There is so much more in the spirit world and in the spirit realm and what God wants you to experience, and he's got, he's got that for you. So uh, read that word today and invite the Holy Spirit and be prepared for this Pentecost to be the best day of your life and the beginning of the rest of your life. Amen.